Did you know that there is a zodiac sign by the name Ophicus? O P H I U C H U S. Uh, that takes place every year between December 7th to December 18th and very few people other than the people who study sidereal astrology or real sidereal astrology know about uh, so I'm not exactly sure why this zodiac sign is not part of the tropical system is not part of the mainstream Western astrology I don't know I'm not sure it's there I'm gonna show you here on the app I recommended you guys download the app Stellarium so that you can check everything for yourself so you're not fooled by mainstream astrology so basically there are 13 signs guys what does a zodiac sign mean when we say uh, you were born in Cancer, you were born in Gemini, you were born in Leo, etc. What we're talking about here is we're talking about the position of the sun from here, from planet Earth, the position of the sun in a specific dominant constellation. So, there's a 13th sign called if Ophicus, and between December 7th and December 18th, the sun is in that constellation, is in that zodiac sign. Mainstream astrology tells you otherwise, but there is a 13th sign. So, guys, download the app Stellarium, okay? And then what you can do is you can go here. Uh, when you open up the app, you can put the dates in here, okay? So right now we have December 7th, 2021, okay? Ignore. All right, here it is again, December 7th, 2021. So we're going to look for the sun. There it is, and look, hey, the sun... Oh, it's doing that again. Uh, the sun is in Ophicus. All right, it's in a constellation here. It's probably going to change again. Yeah, that's Ophicus. You look it up for yourself. Okay. Um, I believe that mainstream Western astrology tells us that if you're born between... December 7th and December 21st that you are let's see is it a Virgo no it says yeah it says Sagittarius so according to mainstream astrology you are Sagittarius if you're born between December 7th and December 21st in reality your zodiac sign is not Sagittarius it is Ophicus because that is what is in the skies guys because the Western astrology system is a 2,000 year old outdated system and may I say full of fallacies okay how can you just ignore a star system like a, a, a zodiac sign like that how can you just say oh no 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 we're gonna just say that the Sun is in Sagittarius when you actually look in the stars see this app you can sh you can see what is happening in the skies nobody can fool you Okay, and what is happening in the skies between December 7th and December 21st is the sun is positioned in the constellation known as Ophicus, also known as the 13th sign. And for what purpose is this hidden information? I do not know. Remember guys, who is giving us this mainstream information? Those who are giving us the mainstream information are the architects of this socioeconomic matrix and their entire agenda is to control, manipulate and fool us. And I don't know to what end this serves, okay? They really take astrology seriously because astrology can tell you a great deal of things about a great deal of things, okay? 
really it it it, it can it can predict the future can look into the future it can uh, read the past uh, you know there's so many things you can do if you're a seasoned astrologer and you're actually getting actual real information of what is out there in the skies and you know what's going on what's happening and, and I don't know what to what point okay I, I don't know to what end but I know that they have this you know knowledge and they always try to trick us and fool us so I don't know maybe some of you guys know why this particular nugget of information nugget of knowledge is not being communicated to us uh, the existence of a 13th sign I don't know I don't know but you know the whole system the whole Western astrological system is out of whack you know it's it's not what you see in the sky it's simply like a system that somebody told you this is what it is and then people follow it and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy meaning some people will say oh really okay so I guess that's wrong I guess I'm not born in the zodiac sign of cancer I'm a Gemini but you know what all my life I've been reading my cancer chart and it's so accurate it just describes me so perfectly it's like no it's a self-fulfilling prophecy you're looking to identify with a group that's what humans do right humans are tribal and so if you're at a at an early age you're reading about somebody's telling you this is who you are your cancer this is this is who you are so you re you you take this information and you start to believe it as this is who I am and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy so so you in effect take the information that someone else is telling you this is who you are and you begin to act like that okay you begin to you begin to take on these characteristics there's also another thing called confirmation bias because you really want to believe that that's who you are because you want to identify with the group group team cancer team leo team gemini um there is a mechanism inside you that is trying to confirm this particular piece of information because you really want to believe it's true okay but in reality that's not what's happening in the skies okay in reality you know the, the, the forces that are acting upon you from the 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 cosmos are what they are it's what's happening right now in the moment and if you're told if you're born on june 23rd like me and you're told you know your star system your star sign your zodiac sign is cancer right but in reality what's happening is the sun is not positioned in cancer it's positioned in gemini that's what's actually happening and i want to study that more to see how those forces are affecting me rather than read someone else's description of oh you're a cancer da, 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 right and, and start to believe it and take on uh, the characteristics of it now of course ultimately we're like m greater than our zodiac sign okay this is like you know it's you kind of have to go through all the different layers and pierce through them you know because you're ultimately above all of creation you're the creator of creation and you're just like infinite unchanging blissful existence right so ultimately you're above all of these but you know as you experience your humanity you acknowledge that all these forces acting upon you the stars the planets the moon the sun uh, other humans around you you know that your environment the air you breathe etc etc right um, so I'm just inviting you to go in and uh, if you're really into astrology I'm not really into astrology if you're really into astrology really like download this app and question everything you learn in mainstream astrology and look it up for yourself okay there is this 13th sign that ha where the Sun is in that in that constellation between December 7th and December 21st and that is Ophicus okay from there on you do your own research I'm not an expert in astrology right okay guys um, thank you for our patrons for your cons consistent support if you're interested to support patreon I have a link in the description as a token of gratitude for your support we will put you in our telegram group where we discuss a wide variety of things with other like-minded people kind of like a mastermind group so if you're interested join us down below um, and also if you'd like to give us like a you know a couple of million dollars uh, just a one-time donation I'm not saying one million dollar a month right you know uh, you could do so on PayPal minimum one million dollar uh, donations anything less than that um, 
we recommend you up up the dosage uh, kidding and uh, also uh, I do one one-on-one video consultation so I have a link in the description I love you guys and I will see you in the next video